Let's now solve question number 6C from the branch accounting chapter. Branch accounting chapter, this question is from independent branch where the branch is maintaining its own records. It is not dependent upon head office for maintaining its records. And they have asked journal entries with narration. Oh, oh, oh. Even if they would have not used the word with narration, would have still written narration. In the books of independent branch for the business to rectify or adjust the following. Basically, head office has been not maintaining books of the branch. Branch is maintaining its own books and branch by mistake has done some mistakes. So what should we do? We should pass rectification entries to rectify such mistakes or to reconcile such differences between head office and branch. Read the first one. Commission income of 7500 allocated to branch by head office but no entry has been passed in the books of branch. Branch has earned commission income. It should be credited. They have not credited. Chai. What will we do? Credit it. Income alwa. What is it? Isn't it income? Yeah. We will credit that income of 7500. Did we receive cash? No, no, no. Head office has received commission on behalf of all the branches. They have allocated 7500 to us. So head office has received the commission on our behalf. We are supposed to collect it from head office. So I will debit head office account debit to 7500. My income credit 7500, head office has collected it on my behalf, so debit head office account 7500, that's it, one mark, one entry down, narration also written, second one, head office paid 12,000 directly to one of the branch supplier, I am branch, I purchased good from somebody, I should pay money, head office paid money on my behalf, like you go to the shopping place and you buy something, you tell your parents and then they pay through the scanner, something like that, you have purchased, head office has made the payment. You get it? So when you purchased, you have a creditor in your books. You would have written the journal entry, purchase account debit to creditor. When your head office makes the payment, your creditors will decrease. When the creditors decrease, what do we do? We credit, we debit our creditors. Because our supplier, creditor, liability is decreasing. By how much? 12,000. Who paid the money? Head office paid the money. So we are supposed to pay head office. Now we have a liability called head office. Ultimately, head office will keep writing debit credit, debit credit, debit credit. Ultimately, we will settle the balance. We will not settle, we will write them in our balance sheet assets or balance sheet liabilities. You are my capital type. Did you understand? Branch will not have capital, branch will have head office assets or capital. Did you understand this entry? Then what do we have after this? Uh, this intimation was received by the branch during reconciliation. So branch has not passed, so we did this. Read the third one. Our remittance, remittance is payment or sending the money of 85,000 is sent by branch to head office. Branch has sent 85,000 to head office. Branch should write the entry cash account credit, head office account debit. We are giving it to head office. Head office debit, our cash is going out credit. Have we written the entry? We have actually written the entry. But has not been received by head office till date. Head office I have sent, no, I have written the entry correctly. Head office would have to write the entry cash to branch. If it is not received, instead of writing cash account, they should write cash in transit. Why? If they write cash account, their cash balance should increase. Because they have not received, they should write Sita. Cash in transit account debit to branch account. But I have written the entry correctly. I am not going to pass any entry. Here is our question. One, 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 one. Other one, one, no entry. Wow. No entry. No entry. Why? We have given the cash. We have written the entry. Head office has to write cash and transit entry. I am not going to pass any separate entry for this. If head office is not received, it's not my problem. Okay. Number four. What do we have in number four? Branch paid 9,800 salary to head office employee. Head office has sent one employee. He is in the branch now. So what did we do? We paid the salary. Actually, he was supposed to pay. Head office was supposed to pay. When we pay, what is the entry that we should write? Cash account credit. Debit should be head office account. Why? It is not my salary expense. It is head office salary expense. Head office should write salary account debit. I will write cash account credit. They will debit expense. I will make payment. I will debit head office. Head office will credit branch. I will repeat. I have paid money. I will credit cash. I will not debit salary. Why? Not my expense. Head office expense. I should debit head office account debit to cash. I should write the entry as Head office account debit to, I have made the payment on behalf of head office. But what has happened? But the amount paid has been wrongly debited to salary. Like lot of creative answers that you people gave wrongly here. They have also debited which account? Salary account. 
salary debit maadbekitta no they should have not debited salary they have wrongly debited salary we will credit salary what were they supposed to debit head office have they debited head office no so now we will debit head office sir this is more like our ca foundation rectification yeah very much like that so i have paid money on behalf of head office i was supposed to debit head office account i have not debited head office now i'll debit it i had wrongly debited it to salary now i'll we'll credit salary account to reverse it shall we see fifth one branch purchased furniture of 18000 through check hey, very good we purchased furniture we should write furniture account debit to bank why 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 paid through check but the furniture account was maintained by head office on that furniture itc will be there maintenance will be there depreciation will be there accountant at the branch no is not smart enough to pass depreciation entry itc accounting and all of this so what to do head office will tell you pay money but it will get registered in my name i will keep the asset in books of accounts i will keep maintenance you do usage you do but books of accounts whose books of accounts will it be there head office head office usage of the asset branch so when you buy the asset usually journal entry in the books of branch should be it should be like asset account debit to cash but we will not write asset to cash in the place of asset debit i will write head office to cash head office will debit the asset head office did not pay cash no head office will write furniture account debit to branch branch will write head office account debit to bank so basically in between that debit credit if you remove furniture account debit to bank only what is the normal journal entry furniture to bank head office will debit furniture branch will credit bank branch will credit bank is there debit will be head office head office will debit furniture is there credit will be branch now where are we in the books of branch no entry has been passed so pass the entry shall i debit furniture no 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 who debited furniture head office furniture debit madidare nan head office debit martini head office furniture debit madidare i will debit head office i paid money yeah cash a check a check so i'll debit i'll credit bank how much money did i pay 18000 i'll write 18000 last one branch has incurred 5500 expenses on behalf of other branches i paid money for the sake of other branch who should have paid other branch expense other branch should have paid if not other branch head office should have paid i have paid it's not my headache i have paid other branch expense now head office should reimburse it to me am i right i will write cash account or bank account credit debit is not my expense debit is head office account this transaction was not recorded in the books of branch okay record it now head office account debit to cash or bank because this money i have paid from my pocket but it is not my expense head office has to pay it to me i am supposed to recover it from head office so i have debited head office account and this is the end of six journal entries for six marks from branch